they are like elastic bands that help to move the bones. Bend your arm. The swollen part inside your upper arm is a muscle. Bones are covered with muscles. Muscles are made up of bundles of muscle fibers. The muscles cause movement. Without muscles, you couldn't open your mouth, speak, shake hands, walk, talk, or move your food through your digestive system. There would be no smiling, blinking, breathing. You couldn't move anything inside or outside you. The fact is, without muscles, you wouldn't be alive for very long. Each muscle causes a particular movement. Like bones, there are different types of muscles too. The type of muscle depends on whether the muscles are attached to the bones or not. Muscles which are attached to bones are called skeletal muscles. They are in our control, so also known as voluntary muscle. Involuntary muscles are the muscles which are not in our control, like cardiac muscles, smooth muscles. Voluntary muscles are the ones that we can control. Most of them move our bones around. If you want to run, walk, ride a bike, wave your arms around or eat your favorite sandwich, it is your voluntary muscles which move your arms, legs and body around. But they can't do that unless your brain sends right message to the right muscles. Do you have to think about making your intestine and stomach digest the food? Or do you have to remind about your lungs to keep inhaling and exhaling air? No, the movement of these muscles can't be controlled by us. They know their job and they keep right on doing it. These are called as involuntary muscles present in the internal organs like stomach, intestines, etc. They are not attached to any bone. They do not have stripes and hence called as smooth muscles. What happens when you feel cold or get scared? The tiny muscles at the bottom of the hairs on your arms Make your hair stand up when you are cold or suddenly feel scared. And what about the muscles of the heart? They also keep working by themselves and cannot be controlled by us. They work non-stop, pumping blood through the entire body. These are striped and branched muscles. These are called as cardiac muscles. These muscles need continuous supply of energy as they work without rest. In a nutshell, the muscles can be divided into two categories, voluntary and involuntary muscles. Again, involuntary muscles are of two types, cardiac, that is, muscles of heart, which are striped and branched, and smooth muscles like in stomach, intestine, which have no stripes. How are muscles joined to the bones? Wondering again, is some glue used? The muscles are attached to the bones by the strong fibers called tendons. Every time you walk, settle into a chair, hug your mother, you're using your bones, muscles and joints. Without these important body parts, we wouldn't be able to stand, walk, run or even sit. Since bones and muscles are so important, how do we take care of them? We should take healthy diet. The bones are made up of calcium and phosphorus, minerals. The bones get brittle, meaning they break easily due to lack of calcium and phosphorus in our food. So, we should eat food like milk, vegetables, fruits, eggs. Sun rays in the morning and evening 
are good for bones. The muscles are made up of proteins. So, take diet which has milk products, fish and meat. This diet makes muscles strong and healthy. Regularly exercise. Good posture while we sit, stand or walk is important. Also, we should take proper rest. Let us have some fun now. Do you know which bone is the longest in our body? It is the thigh bone, also called femur. Which is the smallest bone in our body? The smallest bone is the stapes present in the ear. Which is the strongest muscle? The strongest muscle in the body is the tongue. Surprising, isn't it? Which is the busiest muscle? Eye muscles are the busiest muscles in the body. Scientists estimate they may move more than 100,000 times a day. That's a lot of times. <coughs> Anand, don't you think if we would have learned this chapter before, we could have helped the genie get his body faster? Yes, you are right. How my wrong mantra interchange the voluntary and involuntary muscles of genie? The lungs should automatically work as it has involuntary muscles and the hand muscles should be controlled by us as it has voluntary muscles. Yes. You are right. Now I understand why number 206 was written on one of the box that was containing the bones of the chini. 206 is the total number of bones in the adults. Also now I understand that the different joints move in the different ways. And that must be the reason why shoulder and knee joints cannot be interchanged. This subject is very interesting. I will like to become a doctor when I grow up. But I hope you will not do the same mistake of interchanging bones or joints when you become a doctor. Ha 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 ha! You, Aman, I will catch you!